it's it's still very overwhelming. I'm firstly I was honoured to be returned as a councillor for the castle area of North Belfast. It's an area in which I was born, I grew up, and I'm very proud to represent. But to then get the nomination from the party to be the first citizen, the mayor of Belfast, to have the opportunity to follow on not just the work of Dirty Hargy, but our previous mayors and deputy mayors and council team with so much experience. I, I, I'm really looking forward to this year ahead to represent everybody in this city. Belfast is uh, a lot more subtle than Green and Orange. Uh, it is a very diverse place culturally. Um, it's multinational, it's multi-faith. I want to represent every single person in this city. The position of First Citizen of Belfast, of Mayor, is something that I, I take very seriously. Uh, it is a unique position. It gives me the opportunity to represent everybody. Because our politics, uh, and we have been very clear and very strong on this, is that we want a new Ireland. We want a new brand of politics. We will reach out, uh, and I will certainly be reaching out my hand to those um, in all areas of Belfast. I will not be a partial mayor. I will be a mayor for everybody. And that is a challenge and an opportunity that I'm really looking forward to for the year ahead. I will be following on the good work of Dirty Hargy, who promoted a city of equals, uh, who promoted equality at every opportunity that she had throughout the past year. And that is something that I will be more than happy and proud to continue on. I think there are a number of other issues that I think need focus. Um, Belfast is a vibrant city. There is increased investment, there's increased tourism. I want to make sure that the council will lead and can do as much as it can to make sure that those who are on the outskirts of society, those who do not benefit from that economic investment, uh, really do receive that and really do have that opportunity to succeed in Belfast. And I think council needs to lean on that. I also want to put in particular focus on climate change. I think the council needs to be greener, needs to be cleaner, needs to be more efficient in its policies whilst being cognizant of the very real threat that our planet faces at this time. And that's something that I want to bring a very strong focus to. Whenever I was nominated, I, I spoke with my mother about this and the I think the enormity of the situation has, has hit home with, with both of us. She told me that my father would have been in Belfast City Council in, in the 80s as a legal observer uh, to monitor what was going on, that he would return home angry at, at what he saw, at how this council uh, in the 80s conducted itself, how it was a partial council, how it uh, was very clear that it didn't want to represent everybody in this city. and. I am cognizant of the fact that 30 years after his murder, I am now going to be mayor of Belfast for the year ahead. And that's something that I take immense pride from. Uh, I was raised by my father and my mother, and certainly after my father's death, that, um, that the law and the politics should be there for everybody, that rights aren't privileges to be given uh, and taken, depending on those in power. So I think that Belfast City Council is a very different place than the 80s. I think that is due to the work of our councillors over the years, of our activists over the years. Uh, it fills me with immense pride that, uh, certainly with my upbringing, I, I always take inspiration as to what my father stood for in his life and also what his death represents. And I think that with myself as mayor, driving Belfast uh, into, the, into the future and always looking to the future whilst always being cognizant of, of where we've come from is something that is, is very much in my mind as I take up this year in office.